Hello everyone, my name is Deep Shuring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire iMetada family, I would like to welcome you to the short video tutorials. In this video, we are going to install Cisco iOS within GNS3 and VMware Workstation environment. Along with that, we are also going to set up a basic lab of two routers, performing an initial configuration and check the reachability between those two routers. Let's begin. There we can see the icon of GNS3, just double click on it, it opens up, it takes a little bit of time so just bear with me, there you can see it's turning on, here you can see that uh, the project name, before even starting the project name you can name it anything, just like that. There you can see the two routers we have previously installed in the local server. Go to preference and uh, come within iOS routers. We're going to remove these two routers, delete and select 7200 series and delete it again. Click on apply and then OK. There you have removed the two routers from the local server. Now what we are going to do is we are going to integrate Cisco iOS within VMware environment. Now there you can see the VMware workstation, VM, okay it's GNS3 VM, so double click on it. Before we had an error related to virtualization technology, right? We are going to install it, import it again within VMware workstation. After getting it installed or imported within the VMware workstation, we are going to start that uh, GNS3 VM and it should work fine because we have already turned on or enabled virtualization technology within BIOS, right? So close this one, select GNS3 VM and right click on it and power and set up guest. There you can see it's started successfully that means it's working fine if you had an error that means go to BIOS and I've showed you these steps uh, in the previous video right so you can uh, just go through that video just to enable virtualization technology this is the one um, I'm going to actually okay I'm going to wait for the IP address Okay, there you can see the IP address has been assigned to this VM. It's 192.168.244.128. Just remember this 244.128, this whole IP address. This is actually assigned to this VM. Now I'm going to go to GNS3. Open up. And go to help. Click on set up wizard. There, choose the first option. And next. In the drop down list, there you can see here we have uh, just just match with the IP address 244.1 is the default gateway for this one. So I'm going to select 244.1, that's the one. Just click on next. Connection location for the server, local server is successfully done. Here I'm going to use VMware, it's recommended, that's, that's true, and uh, GNS3 VM. Select two cores if you have four and if you have eight, select eight cores. This is the RAM I'm going to use. Uh, go to Tox Manager and go to Performance. Click on Memory. There you can see my available RAM is 11.7 GB. I'm using 16 GB of a laptop. So 4 GB is already been consumed. So I'm going to use 8 GB for GNS3 VM. And two cores so wait for a while click on finish here you can see actually that you're going to integrate a Cisco IOS just click on the first option click on OK and run the IOS from GNS3 VM just click on it and click on next browse click on the browse button and where you have saved Cisco IOS 
this PC I have actually saved my iOS and maybe images there GNS3 here you can see there 3725 series I'm going to select this one and import it within this GNS3 VM it'll take a little bit of time and it's done click on next nothing to do with this next there you just place 192 MB of RAM just to support network address translation 192 is enough for NAT support click on next there you can just integrate more network interface card so I'm going to add two more cards that means I'm going to have four interfaces click on next next there you have to file find idle PC finder so click on it it's going to use the less processor if you're not going to uh, find the idle PC processor that means it's going to use your whole processing speed 100% so this is the value click on finish there you can see the 3725 has been installed click on apply and if you want to add new just go to click on new and click on next click on new image and go to browse for new iOS that is 7200 series click on open click on yes it's going to import it wait for a while and click on next there you can see and 512 MB of RAM it's more than enough click on next select FE2 that means too fast Ethernet click on next find the idle PC for this router as well it's going to find on its own click on OK and that's a value for that there you can see click on finish and there you can see two routers has been installed click on apply and then click on OK so this is how you integrate Cisco IOS within VMware virtualization technology and there it has to just uh, run on the background it, it runs on its own just don't do anything just close this one click on yes just to refresh this what we have done is we have installed Cisco IOS and where do you get those iOS you can download from anywhere if you don't have uh, you can uh, get it through the Cisco website as well there are many third parties as well they just provide you just for the practice you can uh, get it anywhere from the internet so click on GNS3 I'm going to reopen it all restart uh, the GNS3 and it opens up this you, you can see that it opens up on its own so you don't have to open VMware uh, workstation uh, manually when you turn on GNS3 it's going to open up on its own so just wait until it shows you the IP address of the VMware so there you can see the IP address now just minimize it it runs on the background on its own just test lab name it anything you would like to do or you would like to name it just click on routers there you can find your two installed routers okay click on view okay edit go to preference and there you can see the server it's enabled and there you can see 192.168.244.1 GNS3 VM enable the GNS3 VM it has to be enabled and checked within that box so click on OK it's fine in my case it's working fine so I'm going to drag this 3725 of router and I'm going to drag the 7200 series of router and just label it with it so I'm going to bring it to the left side the 37 and right side the 7200 series click on the fast ethernet just to connect these routers using these cables so there you can see the label of the interfaces fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the router is turned off just click on play button 
and wait for a while it turns on green that means the router has been started up you can see that right so what we are going to do we are going to configure just click on this one this actually opens up the console for the routers that means you are actually going to configure these routers from this console this is router 1 and for router 2 this is the console for router 1 show IP interface brief there you can see no IP address has been assigned to this router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 it's unassigned go to global configuration mode terminal configure terminal sorry for that okay you are in global configuration mode interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address would be 192.168.1.1255255255.0 and no shutdown it turns on the interface exit exit right that means saving the RAM configuration to NVRAM show IP interface brief there you can see that IP address has been assigned to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 go to router 2 assign the IP address show IP interface brief and no IP address has been assigned so we're going to assign IP address to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 go into global configuration mode and interface Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address would be 192.168.1.2 slash 24 would be your subnet mask. No shutdown and just end or exit. That brings you to the privilege mode. Right. That means saving the configuration from RAM to NVRAM. Now let's verify. Show IP interface brief. So there you can see the IP address has been assigned to router 2 pinging from router 2 to router 1 and the ping is successful that means uh, the stop logic is totally working fine pinging from router 1 to router 2 and successfully done this is how you actually set up a basic configuration and you do the initial configuration just like that right so this is how you deal with this after that you can close this for the top logic and this is how it's done thanks for watching guys